Show. Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. So a lot of people talking about Nia Jax and the injury to Kyrie Sane. Uh, this would be at least the second time that Nia's hurt Kyrie. First was what basically was a, a tree slam buckle bomb. It wasn't a traditional buckle bomb, but basically it was supposed to be the exact same kind of bump. But Nia was too far away, and you know everyone says she doesn't know her own strength. Apparently she thought she was stronger than she was because she tossed Kyrie. Kyrie never made it to the buckles. She hit her head on the bottom buckle, nearly killed herself. And then yesterday, Nia yanked Kyrie out of the ring, threw her out of control into the ring steps. Kyrie's gashed open. They show none of this on Raw, but if you go to her Twitter, you can see the gigantic gash on the top of, of Kyrie Sane's head. Coming off, by the way, as noted, the head injury into the buckle, and another head injury, if I recall correctly. Uh, in fact, I'm, I'm sure there was another head injury. So she's the last person that needs to be being run headfirst into a you know, the ring steps at this point. And I can't even read the message I was sent from WWE. Not It wasn't from, obviously, all of WWE, but it was someone with WWE. Sent me a text message last night. Absolutely furious. 1,000% Nia's fault, they noted. And with a lot of profanity, a lot of anger, they they said they believed she should be fired. She's going to cripple or kill someone, they noted. So... Listen, especially in the middle of a pandemic, I, I, I'm probably like the only person that would say this, but I, I, I don't believe that Nia should be fired. But absolutely, positively, without question, get her off the main roster, send her back down to developmental, send her back down where she can start all over again and and train, probably from square one, and figure out how to do what pro wrestling is, which is, it's a performance. It is a show. You and the other person work together to pretend, to pretend like you are beating each other up. You take care of your opponent. Your opponent takes care of you. And you, and you put on a show for the fans. Watching on TV or if they happen to be in the buildings. That's not what's happening here. Nia is significantly larger than Kyrie Sane. She's throwing her all over the place carelessly. It's not the first time. What what has happened to Kyrie on multiple occasions at the hands of Nia Jax is not the first time this has happened with other wrestlers in Nia Jax. So she's got to go. Again, you don't need to fire her, but she needs to go back to the performance center. She needs to be there for a while. And she needs to start over again learning how to do this safely. Because right now, she can't. End of story. You know how uh, Vince and WWE will go back to the well when something works once, they'll continue to try to do it over and over again. Like The Rock, if, if he can get beat, you know, over and over. Ric Flair, he can get beat over and over. Anybody can. You know, we can rebuild them. They fall into that trap. Maybe... With Nia, they saw what happened with Becky Lynch and just figure she can go out there and then some sort of calamity can happen and they can capitalize on that. Maybe that's where they're at with Nia Jax. I have no idea. And in the past, I've been relatively soft on Nia because, again, I can't really... You can only blame somebody so much when they're put in a position to do a job that they can't do, but they got put there. I mean... It's like there's a lot of joking right now about the Mongo McMichael, what will Mongo do next Twitter feed, which is hilarious. But you think about him like having somebody upside down with their neck and their head, you know, the ability to crush oh. them, break their neck and kill them. Who like, in God's name gave that guy the tombstone for the finisher? I mean, it, hello. Exactly. But this is this is where we're at in the late 90s. And God but guess knows, what? But he never killed anybody with it. He didn't. And that but the thing is, it's like, you know. At some point, he actually got better, and and again, he still wasn't good. But it's like with Nia, 
she shouldn't be there. And somebody needs to get blamed for that. But it's like, why she has not advanced any better or seemed to have gotten any better or stronger. I, I don't know what it is. But like at this point, the one thing is for sure. I don't want to see Kari and her in the ring together ever again. They're just a terrible match with each other. Let it go. Leave it alone. Keep them away from each other. But you know, she deserves blame in this. Again, I don't know about last night. It certainly put it to you like this. I don't know whether that was her fault or not. But the one thing I do know is she's got this reputation and she's got all of these other, you know, names on her body bag list. So she doesn't get the benefit of the doubt from people. And that's just the way that thing's got to go. But like, you know, everybody's at fault here. And like you said, if she can't do this stuff, send her back down if you don't want to get rid of her. I get that. I'm not trying to like have her lose her job or anything like that. But when you have Io Shirai, when you have 90 million women on the roster that you could be focusing on in that position who are a lot safer and, frankly, more fun to watch wrestle, you know, maybe we ought to go in that direction. Let me explain something to everybody here. The Irish whip, when your opponent whips you into the ropes, whips you into the buckle, whatever. When you're hitting the ropes or you're hitting the buckle, there is a specific number of steps that you need to take. There's a pivot. There's, there's, it, it is a very, it is very precise. If you've ever attempted to run the ropes, you don't just run and then, and then bounce off the ropes. Now, granted, there's, there's definitely people you can see running the ropes that take like 15 steps to get to the ropes, but there, there is an actual technique to hitting the ropes. There's an actual technique to hitting the buckle properly. Now, in order to do this, in order to do this, you need to be in complete control. When somebody is whipping you into the buckle, guess what? They don't actually whip you into the buckle. They don't actually yank you and push you towards the buckle. You do all of that yourself. They grab your wrist, they pretend, and you run. The same thing into the rope, same thing into the buckle, same thing into the post, whatever. Anybody who grabs your wrist and yanks you and then forcefully pushes you all they're doing is they're screwing everything up for you. And unless you're you're great, I mean, something's going to get messed up if someone's actually trying to yank you off the ropes and push you to the other ropes, okay? It's fake. So last night when Naya went to whip her into the steps, they were they were five feet from the steps maybe. And, I mean, Kyrie immediately stumbles. She falls to her knees and she goes headfirst into the steps, okay? She didn't trip on anything. The ground was not wet. There was no cable. I mean, the reason that she stumbled and fell to her knees was because she was actually thrown with great force. And she stumbled and she fell and she went headfirst into the steps. You may not have noticed it watching, but if you understand what's going on when you're being whipped into anything... That's what happened there. So there's 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 no excuse for this. And by the way, somebody sent me this message here about Billy Kay. That's another story entirely. Uh, Billy Kay, the single worst female wrestler to make it to such a big stage. I mean, that's not true. No. I mean, she's the worst wrestler on the roster right now. Okay, Oksana but, existed. Okay, dude, we we've seen a million women and men that have done matches on the main roster that are significantly worse than than Billy Kay. But right now, at this point in time, she is, in fact, by far the worst worker they've got on the main roster. But you know what? I'd watch her matches a thousand times before I want to watch another match with Nia Jax. Hallelujah. Because Billy goes in there, and her offense looks terrible, and her selling is like, literally, she looks, if you saw like a Disney cartoon from the 40s, where Mickey Mouse is pretending to be a wrestler. I mean, that's what we're Corolla looking at. <laughs> that's what we're looking at here with with Billy Kay. But you know what? She never hurts anybody. She's she's never careless or reckless with her opponent. She's in there and she's not really good at it, but she's doing what professional wrestling is supposed to be. Nia is not. Nia is hurting people. Nia is being careless. I I don't want to see it. I don't want to see Nia wrestle for a long time. 